Hey guys, it's Elbel. Today I wanted to show you guys an interesting little app. I've had this for about two years maybe? A year and a half. Yeah, it should be two years ago now. This is well I can change. The file is called Ambition because that's who created the game. Uh, the three games that you saw on there. Currently, yeah, Lil Serafina is sleeping. She's actually basically what you're gonna do is you take care of I guess you could say like android girls called myroids. They're your roid, my roid. Yeah, it's a selective group of people to play it because it is something that as you can see, you log in daily for things. You have them working and studying, and it's just a little, like, one of those things where you have them go and do this and stuff, and it's kind of a time-ish thing. Not like, when I say time, I don't mean like, oh god, it's set a time constraint, like, I have to finish this before this time over. No, it's just like, if you set them to work or study, you can just like, let them do their thing, and then you come back, and after they finish studying or whatever, taking the experience, and you level up, and of course you gain, you know, more myroids. Yuki was my first myroid, so let's go ahead and wake her up. Ooh, she got a dream state. Hoo <laughs> I wonder how all the puny humans are doing today. They don't look very happy. What's happened? I know! It must be too hot down there. Well, how about some rain to cool you down? That's not some- that's lots! Too much rain! What do I do? What do I do? Ah! Ellie! Yes, that's me, because whenever I first played this, I didn't want to know. One, you're basically a male protagonist, considering that's pretty much the uh, pronoun that they give you is the he, him, his, stuff like that. But here I was, putting my crappy nickname into this. Uh, Ellie, I mean, Archangel, hello. Aw, oh, she's so cute. Look at her. Er, no problems to report today, sir. Hmm? Rain, you say? <laughs> I guess that was a tiny little problem. I'm sorry, I'll stop the rain right away. Enjoy your afternoon shower, beauty humans. <laughs> oh, jeez. At least my infect her uh, affection increased and her condition increased. Which is noted up at this little top with a little smiley face, this arrow, and the heart. The smiley is the affection, the arrow is the condition, and the heart just shows how much energy they have, basically how long they're turned on. Yes, you do have to put them to sleep, otherwise if they're forced asleep, then they end up with what's called the sleepy time sickness, the virus, and so it gets them sick and it takes 12 hours for them to basically get better, but their affection and condition decrease tremendously. So let's go ahead and call you. So yeah, you can do call, you can tickle her, tweak your cheeks, say I'm home, stroke her hair, poke her cheeks, stuff like that. Mmm, I'm old hands. This is so cute. And there's this thing with types. Now basically with types is you can change their types and it will affect how they react to you in certain situations. The main type that I have her set on is sweet. Her sub 1 is cool and her sub 2 is sassy. But this is where studying comes into play because you study to increase these traits in order to, you know, go and change different types. Of course, you got Yandere, Tsundere, Dominant, Tomboy, Sexy, Neat, Cool, Mysterious, Needy, Noble, Crybaby, Masculine, Cheeky. Cheeky, I believe, is more of like, as the way the text is shown, it's kind of like imagining your Moiroid have this southern accent, basically. Kind of like a country person. Diligent and brash, childish, and then of course there's default, which you always start off with. Uh, do -do, do -do -do. You can also change their outfits, of course, it's kind of the main point of the game. As you can see, Yuki is wearing a little Christmas outfit. Oh, correct. The yeah, the dress was from last year's Christmas event, which I should show. There's a little event info stuff like that. Forgive the notification. But yeah, you do events and stuff like that. You play through. They're great for Christmas. There's some things. Um, yeah, so Serafina. Uh, so she was wondering because throw a little check. Okay. Um, you just, you have to get into it. Of course, I was a noob at first, and then I had my lovely friend, Hanoko, help me. So, uh, getting into it further and further. And with that, current rank is 299. Whenever I started this event, I have an account on my tablet, 
and that one was at rank 15 while my phone was at rank 58 because I had more energy drinks. Uh, things like that. But there are achievement awards that you can get for like how many points you gain while you're doing the event. Um, at 16,000 I should be getting a gotcha ticket which you can go and play gotchas. Um, I'll explain that in a moment. The ranking is very important when it comes to the events because you can, as you can see you get special outfits. Um, 1 through 30 usually will give you all of them. 31 through 100 is usually the second outfit plus the accessory, background, etc. And then there's this little special one where it's the 777, also known as the Lucky Spin, because it's based off the whole casino idea that if you get all sevens in a row, you get a jackpot. So that's basically what it is, this little jackpot, so whoever is in rank 777 will get those two items. Um, there's also the event gotcha, where you can play to get outfits, as you can see, they all say get because I have played and I have received each of the items before. You can play it and you'll receive items based on, you know, like tickets or something that you have. So let's go and talk about gotcha. Basically, the gotcha will give you more items and more clothes and accessories. The uh, thing about gotchas is that you will get one free play, and that's if you, like, whenever the gotcha appears, you'll get a free play in it. Of course, I have already played this gotcha. So I can't do the free play anymore, unless if you have like a gotcha ticket and that's a free play. But your first time playing it is free. Of course, I got a rare, which is a snowflake surprise black. That is currently what Serafina is wearing. On my tablet version, I got real rare of Christmas pink, as well as what Sonata on my tablet is wearing, which is the Christmas dancer green. You can also go and do the accessories. I didn't get any, um, did not get any rares off of this, uh, off of this one here and it's just normal items but I'm still pretty happy sort of wishing I could have gotten that but you have to have uh, you have to take into consideration how much of the outfit you want Sean sometimes it will block your outfit things like this would be really cute if I had that but you know what I mean so there's different gotchas that appear over time things will of course be taken away during maintenance and stuff like that just to keep it fresh and stuff like that. There's also a little noticing. These are items that you receive, whether from the event or from a login bonus or a login campaign. Login campaigns aren't as rare. Login campaigns are more rare. It's just like that little special thing. And of course, you have different types of gotchas. One that I showed you was the normal gotcha. Um, AP is basically a special kind of currency in the game that you can go, go to the top, you can see it says get free AP, and then you can also purchase AP, so that's that little exclusive kind of currency. Um, the mix gotcha is the same thing, it uses AP, so there's some interesting little outfits and things like that you can get in here, some special ones, rares too, stuff like that. Now Moen is the main currency that is used in the game, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and play this little gacha. Now the Moen gacha you can play once, no, free once per day, and then you can play 10 times, it'll cost 20,000 Moen. As you can see, I've got quite a number of the number of mod, and that's because I have had my girls working, which will give you mod. It's like you work and you get paid for your doing your job. And of course, there's other act, like little outfits and accessories and things like that that you can get. I'm pretty sure I have all of them, considering how many times I have played this. I'm just skipping through. Show you guys what some of the outfits are things like that. There are also backgrounds that you can receive. Um, can is kind of the secondary um, currency, I guess you could say. Usually, this is it's what you get after spending 
Moen or AP. Usually you'll get more can if you spend AP, I think. Um, yeah, it's just a little... It's like that little in-between kind of deal. Some face accessories in this gotcha. Outfits and backgrounds. Things like that. So yeah. I've been trying to get my hands on the Seether Top and the Light Fairy for decades. I'm exaggerating that. Some time. Now, of course, as you can tell, Yuki has a yellow smiley face and a green arrow, meaning that her affection and her condition are not quite full. So what we can do is we can communicate with her. We can talk, things like that. Do we need out? Sure, okay. We need to talk about Sunny together. Super cute. Things like that. You can see in the little blue, blue is usually, okay, that's a good thing. Red, of course, is bad. But you can increase condition, things like that. You know, condition got better. Sometimes I forget because this is where the types come and play, and it does affect how she responds to different situations. And I can't remember... Okay, there we go. See, we to catch a whole lot. Ah, crap. I don't know why, it's just like... Some things happen, like why? It's all based on types. See, now how her affection and condition have changed. It's pretty high enough, I don't really need to max it out. No, you probably can't read this uh, kanji, but if you can, um, I actually went and typed this out wrong, but I was trying to have her name was Kanon. I thought it meant flower sound wrong, I thought it was supposed to mean bird sound, and the kanji was supposed to be completely different. The only thing it really stays the same is the kanji oto, which is the second kanji that you see. The first one is hana, or flower. So basically, her name means flower sound. As you can see, because of the seasons, she's got a nice little outfit for Christmas. This was actually a ranking outfit um, from last year's Christmas event. I got super happy. It wasn't the 1 through 30 highest ranking, but it was the second highest. So I'm really happy about that. Yes, it's time to wake up already. We'll go ahead and call you. Mm, let's see, come on here. Now, Conan's type for her main is childish, her sub one is sweet, and her sub two is cool. I'm trying to figure out how to do this because I have her main as childish, but what I want to do for her uh, other two subs is make her needy as well as a crybaby. Just, you know, a cute little child kind of deal. Um, but I'm still working on that and trying to accommodate. Because whenever it comes to studying, as you can see, up and down, up, 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 down. And then these, the normal subjects, will increase and decrease a specific personality trait. You can see I have maxed out my personality traits. So yeah, um, but that doesn't mean you can't stop studying or have them studying. Um, it just won't affect your traits at all unless you choose one that decreases. If you keep them increasing, it won't affect it, but you can still gain experience for that. And of course, you also have work. Like I said, it's that whole time-based thing, so you can have them working. It's real time, of course. And of course, there's little Serafina in her bedtime outfit. That's cute. So as we grow up, she's also in a dream. Ellie, come over here quickly, quickly. So let's see which ones you want. Snacks, really good. Basically, this is a snack shop. I believe there's one or two dream states that will actually give you Moen. And I think that's a sweet potato stand and then this candy shop. Yeah, it's just this little thing here. Gosh. I can't stand sour candy. 
<laughs> Seraphina, if you can have Sarah Candy, you're freaking brave. Damn it, she is brave. Ah! <sighs> I can't. Ten mon for candy, twenty for candy apparently, so she can buy two. And yes, I received mon. Basically, that twenty mon that is given to her in the dream. Now, with the other part of the communication, is you can also take a picture. Uh, it's not going to be able, like something that you take a picture and it instantly saves. You're basically left up to screenshotting for that. I should say that this game is for both iOS and Android, so don't worry. So you can have her face different directions. Um, basically what happens here is that it gets mir uh, mirrored if you have them facing in this direction. So if you have outfits that have text on it, the text will actually be mirrored and flipped so it's kind of wonky and backwards. So it's kind of one of those things where you have to be careful about in a way. You can call out these different things will affect how her facial expression is. I'm just going to be nice and say you are the cutest man in the world. So do it. Uh, Serafina, actually, what I did was I was working so hard to reach level 80. You get a new Myroid in 40 level increments, so at level 4 you'll gain your second. Level 80, you'll gain your third. 120, you'll gain your fourth. And then 200. Uh, Four, you get your second. 80, you get your third. 120. You get your fourth. 180, you get your fifth. And then. What song is that? Yes. Unless I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm like tired somewhat, so I can't I can't count. Oh well. But yeah, so I wanted to make her a little special myroid. So she's a community myroid, meaning that I went on Facebook into a oh I can change fan group. What I did was I posted and just like, hey I'm preparing for this third myroid, but I wanna be I wanna have her a special myroid. So I had people suggest different names under um clips. Three different uh, nationalities. That was Japanese, French, or Italian. So people went and suggested names, and then I put an official poll. Everyone, not everyone, but the majority voted for Serafina. So Serafina is an Italian name. So she is an Italian migrant. So I'm really happy that you know I got to do something that will include the entire community. It's just it's kind of a nice feeling. So she's a special myroid. She's a myroid for everyone, basically. Now, another thing that you can do with the communication is that you can talk with other myroids. So you can talk with the myroids that you have with this. You'll get 10 conversations at max, and then you can have them work to, I guess, refill the conversations. It's just, it's usually a bit random, but sometimes there are po uh, points where, like, it's random enough that it will actually make sense. It's just like it pairs up well. Other times it's just really random. Now, of course, it looks tired. Here's the thing is there's the XP and there's MTP. MTP is another special thing. You can go to the M AMB company page. This is only um, available through the chatting with another Myroid. You can purchase things depending on how much MTP you have. I will avoid at all costs purchasing any of these. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, kind of weird for me. And I am hoping to save up enough for either the sexy knit blouse or shop. the rabbit ears coat. You can also get some other outfits and stuff like that. So far, there's nothing for the back. 
the backgrounds and there's no back accessories. There are others. What I find interesting is that with this, you can buy a want to talk more. I want to talk more is what affects being able to increase the amount of conversations between myroid and your myroids. Want to talk and itself is just to increase you know the conversations that you have directly with one of your myroids. Hello notifications. But I find it kind of weird because if you use the one to talk more, it you only gain like one MTP per talk, so having the one to talk more and like 300 of that is kind of a waste. I just kind of find it a bit asinine. But yeah, so it's a nice little thing. Um, there's the costume change area. You can see there's a lot of different things collected that, from events, event gotchas, achievements, some ranking, things like that. There's just a lot of stuff. You can board outfits from head accessory, face accessory. Back accessory, body, basically the clothing. There are some clothing items where you have to have a specific personality trait at a certain level. So yeah, it's just it's a nice little thing. There's different types, of course, certain looks. You can also select sets that you save, so you can go to save set, tap on which slot you want to save in, and if you're selecting, it'll say change. Of course, she's already wearing it, so there's kind of no point. Things like that. You can also go straight to the shop. No, I don't want to remove all. Uh, shops, kind of basic. You can change hairstyle. You can choose to change hair only, or change bangs only. You can also change the hair color. This is currently what her hair color is. The reason why it looks like that is because of this. Now there are hair gotchas that you can play, or wig gotchas is what they call them. So you can change into these as well. Um, the only issue with the wig gotcha is that it does cost AP. It's an AP thing only. Um, yeah. You can also change her eyes and her, or the eye style, the eye color, things like that. So it's just a cute little game. You can recommend outfits to other people, other players, my rides as well. Go ahead and write costume because uh, I don't want to. And you can also choose to write all, which will, of course, recommend the hair and the face. Now, when it comes to recommendations, is if the Myroid has a wig on and you select wreck all, a natural, normal hairstyle would not be affected. So the wig will not be affected at all. If it's a natural hairstyle, then yes, the wig will go and be recommended over that. There's also little things you can do. There's the Iradas link, which is just socializing with other uh, myroids, which will give you more experience. Of course, there's the recommendation link. Go ahead and recommend costume. Socialize. You can visit their page and see their myroids. You can also, as you can see, there's this little bother. That means that they're either studying or working. Bothering will give you experience. You also have to be very careful because there are people who are a bit stingy and I kind of really hate that. It's just like, they'll say, please don't bother. And it's kind of, I don't, 
just find it a bit dumb because bothering will give you experience as well as the person receiving the bother. They will gain experience for warning them. So I just kind of find it a little silly. So yeah, and then there's a Moe Camp Casino up on weekends and holidays. Settings, help, titles, index, so items, lucky bag. There's just a lot of stuff. There's also the mixer where if you play uh, any of the gotchas and you receive an outfit that you may not like, you can go here to the IME mixer and that you can exchange those gotcha outfits for mixer tickets. If you have a rare, it will usually equal five gotcha tickets. They're not trying to get the tickets, mix your tickets. Normal outfit is three, a rare accessory I believe is two, a normal accessory is one. You can go and choose and things like that. I personally will not be exchanging any of these because I don't think there's a need to. Because eventually over time I will use these if I'm gonna just throw them away. And then with those tickets, what you can do is you can go through little mixers and you can gain items that are from way back, from old gotchas, and things like that. It's all by random, you know, which item you'll receive. So there's an old mixer and then there's the accessory mixer, which is kind of self-explanatory. Now another thing about this little thing, uh, this little gadget is the server reasoning challenge. Now what you can do is you can exchange outfits for materials. This is where playing, excessively playing the event gadget comes in handy because you can gain more than you need of a certain outfit or accessory. I don't know why that just happened. I did not even say those two words to bring up. But, as you can see, you will gain thread, cloth, and buttons. And then you can go here. You can give server me some materials. There are different, um, I guess you could say patterns which will tell you different amounts of cloth buttons. Um, the two that I know off the top of my head are the 20, 20, 30. I can't remember which gotcha that will bring it from. And then there's the 10, 58, 10. Now I usually go through for 100, 100, 100 because there's a high chance that you can gain Sorali or rare outfits. Sorali, I forgot to mention, is in gotcha. That's what you see here, it's this little Sorali present. For each time you play a gotcha, you will receive Sorali points. Usually you will gain 100 points for a normal outfit. If you gain a rare outfit, it will be 200. There are also certain times where you will gain, there will be like a little campaign for a double Sorali point. And you can gain some special things. Is the individual Sorali. And there's a shared Sorali. Shared is the really common one. Individual is extremely rare. I don't know how much I wish I had these backgrounds and my outfits. Ah! Sorry, I just really want these things. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and said Serafina to study. Maybe she needs to have like stubbornness or something. I'm going to stubbornness. Yes! Okay, sweet. Because that's working towards the. Uh, Types that I want her to be. I'll go ahead and have Conlon working because her thing's full. You can start one. You can also choose to start with another my, uh, with another um, person's my ride. I should also basically tell you um, the main 
something that the protagonist or you are called in the game is Master. This is a Master of My Life game. Whenever you start up the game, it will ask you to put in your name or the Master's name. So it doesn't have to be yours, you can make up a name that your My Reds will address you. Yippee. But just don't take it the wrong way though whenever I say after my road. It's just... I'm, it's kind of like a Chobits complex. I don't want to say like, oh god, you know, it's all gonna be pervy stuff. No, it's just taking care of a person basically. Little anime girl. Things like that. It's just a little cute thing. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and set you to work as well. And do different things. Basically that's all I'm gonna go through. Oops. But um, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this little video. Um, you know, feel free to go ahead and play this. It's free to download. Like I said, it's on the App Store. And uh, it's also on Google Play for Android users. The game is called Moe Can Change. So, yeah, it's a little fun game. I hope you guys enjoy it. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoy more content like this. You know, things like that. We'll see how you guys do. Tell me what you guys think, and if you did download it, what your MyRoid's name is, you know, things like that. So thank you guys so much again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!